diabetes is one of the uh, the big problems that we're seeing among our older population. I think the reason why we have this problem it has to do with the our lifestyle and also the kind of food that we have right now because uh, in the past we used to uh, just grow our food you know we had bread fruit that everything was fresh but right now most of our food are imported so all we have to do is go out to the, the store and we, we buy them bring them in So you begin to depend on imported foods, canned corned beef, canned tuna, and other imported uh, food items from abroad. And that dependence then builds up, and after a while you can't extract yourself from it. If the food that's cheap and available is uh, more often than not uh, Cheez-Its and sodas, you know, you're more likely to end up having excess of calories, uh, excess of trans fats without counterbalancing input of, of basic nutrition, uh, vitamins, things along that line. And more likely to get empty calories that then translate into obesity, diabetes, uh, and so on. I think for Marshallese people who are trying to become healthier, their options are really limited. How are you going to afford to eat fresh vegetables? Where would you get fresh vegetables on eBuy? Well, there's shipments that come into the grocery stores, but the food is so expensive. And how do you find the money to pay for that? And when one person might support 10, 12 people, it's a very challenging thing to do. Your options really are limited. The issue is not having cheap supply of calories. In a way, the issue is having far too ample a supply of cheap calories. And if you're relatively poor, it's easier to eat um, food that's high in fat and high in sugar and lots of calories because it tends to be lower per unit price than if you're more affluent. Uh, bad habits are hard to uh, break. And this is what we're seeing in, in many of our patients. It's not enough to tell them that this is good for you. We have to actually work with them. Amen. One, two, three, One of the things four, that uh, one, two, we do with the uh, with the patient is to have everybody together and exercise, you know, because we want to show them how important that is. It's always a community thing. It's never an individual thing, and this is something that uh, we have to relearn. Two, three, four, and it actually works. When in fact they make it as a competition, you know, after they get their blood test, and then the following day, you know, their names will be listed, you know, and the uh, the sugar level in the blood, they feel good about it, and then they sort of um, tease the other patient. And say, See, you didn't listen. I did. Look at my uh, uh, look at my number. So it's sort of like a competition among them, and they like it. And I think we really need that here, not to depend on somebody else to do things for us. We have to take charge of our own life.